testimony could be compelled. Yeah, have have the third party go out there and talk. Yeah, where's Pence at? Why didn't Pence show up also? He was he was, well, he was, he was touching. busy touching. Pence was busy in Florida NASA. touching NASA <laughs> equipment. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you didn't see the picture of a, a piece of equipment that says, you know, delicate uh, NASA flight equipment, do not touch. And Pence is putting his hand on it. My yeah. Republican friend insists that that was photoshopped. Yeah. Um, of course he would. Yeah. Uh-huh. Man of, a man of oh, faith. Yeah. Right. A man of faith who feels the need to touch the science stuff. Right. You know, I mean, right. does that, what does that well, tell you about also, his faith? Yeah, typical of Republicans to touch yeah. things they're yeah, told not to touch. Yeah, contempt for... And we're the, um, and we're well, the, when, you're, when you're a celebrity, you can just do that. Yes. <laughs> and I don't know if you know, there's a way, I don't know if you saw, if you crop it right, it looks like the bolts at the bottom are screaming. Yeah. <laughs> Have you seen it? Because there's... there's there's one that's the nose or whatever, the mouth and oh. two eyes. Well, but, it's very uh, cute. But we, we were talking about uh, North Korea and their, and their constantly uh, rising nuclear capability. I think I talked about this on the show last week, Time and correct me if I'm wrong. I know I was talking to someone, but I was having a conversation with my dad uh, who was asking, well, you know, uh, you know his missiles can hit Hawaii and, and Alaska, so L.A. is not far behind, so question is are you moving back to chicago i'm moving to new york i think we all know that i you know i would rather i i'd rather be here at ground zero you know nuclear winter this is not been anything about blowing fun to us live up through. for years yeah the but daddy you know what? talked about blowing but the thing us up. Is, but, but everybody that, you know for for a long time it was just talk and and they're getting closer to actually being able to do it okay and and the thing is pakistan could do it yeah but Pakistan, you know, we're not talking about lunatic level leadership like we are with North Korea, like I we are with a, the I United States of America. I just think it's a flat out sure. fear tactic. No, he's a crazy person. Sure he is. He's, but yeah, but we got all kinds of crazies. He, Why he not tells go? his people that he doesn't poo. Yeah, he learned to drive a car when he was three. Yeah. Oh, okay. You know, I he mean, invented the you know, hamburger. We were, yeah, yeah, we were talking now, about the legends of Caligula. It is one of them, isn't it? Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, Kim Kim Jong Un is not far behind in terms well, of NPR, legends. They had a guy who went to to North Korea, and he talked about they the people actually want what we have. They some of the people in North Korea have seen how everyday Americans and other people like in South Korea live. And they're like, they know that they're being screwed. Some of them have seen that, wait a minute, you mean this isn't so? No, it's not. They, they and, took and, the and, red pill. And those and that, people are going to die soon. Well, well, they, well some of them are, are like, you know, they could be, you know, eventually plotting to get him. Because that's all it takes. They would love to try to get the people to take over the country and, and you know, and get oh, this man, guy. Man, remember, remember when the U.S. used to, like, take down dictators and stuff, like in Chile? And in Iraq. Well, that's because we put them why, in, though. Why, why can't we? Our dictators didn't we always put, work we, out, though. We, we put our di- we put in. We do. We put in Bautista. We put in Nick, uh, 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 who else? Uh, Noriega. We put. We put all. Did we guys. put in Samosa in Nicaragua? I don't know my own history. Yeah, I'm sure he did. And I, I believe we took so. Over we all put the Central Shah America. in Iran, not South America, but South. Uh, the, all of Central America. We, we, know, we tried to put that. the Shah in South America. It didn't work. <laughs> they didn't take to him at all. Yeah, and that's why Venezuela hates us, Chavez, because he knew. They, no, I'm not going to fall under you guys. Like, either you do, or your country's going to suffer. Maybe we're the ones that gave him cancer. I don't know. Yeah, we probably. My did. my uncle swears to God. My <laughs> so my uncle's a little bit, you know, far, far, far left in Nicaragua, mm-hmm. and um, so like you know, far left. And I, I mentioned the whole thing about Chavez dying of cancer, and he's like, "Bullshit! You guys did it." You guys did it because that man was perfectly healthy. Then just up out of nowhere dies of stomach cancer. He didn't have stomach cancer, but my mom's religious. So she's like, you know why he died of, st- no, you know why he died of stomach cancer, right? Because one day he was like, I swear to God on my gut. I know he swore to God on his gut and he died of his gut. <laughs> it's like, that's why you never swear on anything. Never swear on my body. Cause I will die. Yeah. Hey, Do you why, love me? That's why all the gang members you say, hey, I swear on my dead homie. <laughs> He's already gone. Right? You know, yeah. That's hey, right. man, I put that on my dead homie, man. <laughs> I was like, okay, I haven't met your dead homie, but hey, <laughs> I hope it works. But so, yeah, that's what, it, that's really why Chavez died, is he swore on his gut. That's, yeah. well, I mean, if you, that's if his you, bad. If Big you mistake. Know, uh, speaking of Central America, I mean, if you know uh, the, the story of Che Guevara and everything, 
we were, you know, uh, Dulles, who was over the CIA, and Eisenhower were, they were huge. They would say they were trying to keep communism out of Central America. But that was because there were American corporations over there. And we were controlling all of that. And we, after a while, we, didn't, we had, we had uh, uh, Castro on payroll. We had already put Batista in office, and we, but you know, and Castro ended up being worse than Batista. But we, uh, we, uh, or the, our real problem was actually Che Guevara, because Che wanted the Russians to bomb us. He said that whole Bay of Pigs. Why did you not shoot the missile? He wanted them to shoot the missile. He told. He said imperialism. He hated it. Oh, people hate America. Yeah, yeah, they do. Well, we, 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 when when guys complain about. Uh, uh, their country and everything. Well, why is this way? Either Britain or America was involved. Either way. All the way down. If you want to look at, I don't care if you look at the continent of Africa, we're all in there. Well, you I mean, to, Britain and America, we're basically the same thing. Right. And like, we've been involved diet. in everything, you know, of, of the reason why things are the way that they are. I mean, it's, and if not them, if not us, another country would have done it. You know, they would have, you in, know, in, in, Haiti, true. in Haiti, the Constitution prevented corporations, American corporations, from owning land. So the Marines went in, and while we were in control, we changed the Constitution. So. Yes, we did. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> well, you know, it's like yeah. uh, we believe in, in a fair fight. Also, if we're not going to win in a fair fight, we're going to rechange change well, your actually, rules. Some, some animals Jefferson. are more equal than others. It was yeah. actually Jefferson who slapped an embargo on Haiti after Toussaint kicked the French's ass. Now... Oh, go on. And go on, go so, on. and then the, the French came in and took a billion dollars of reparations from uh, Haiti and really bankrupt that country. And it no. never made it Be- back. Because gonna, we believe uh-huh. in democracy yeah. as long as it's just white Lol. people. Yeah. <laughs> democracy. Yeah. Um, so, which is interesting because I think Argentina down there in South America has got a democracy, but they also have the Third Reich. Hmm. Uh, yes, or at least the remnants they, of it. So, I mean, maybe were, that's were, why we let them were, have a democracy. Is during, that also why a lot problem. of South American uh, cultures have music that sounds like polka? Like because of all the <laughs> Nazi war criminals that, that escaped? I think, I think the, um, the... That's Mexico. It's because the accordion came in earlier. In the um, accordion came in earlier. Yeah. yeah. So I, I have, though, a little thought to challenge you guys just a little bit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> now, we want to vilify ourselves, want to vilify America and the UK. But if w- I feel like imperialism and, and you know, the strong man stepping on the little guy is inevitable and maybe it's gonna happen anyway so if it wasn't us taking advantage of the other countries it's gonna be the french taking advantage of that other country it's gonna be the german colonists well, but it's I, gonna be I the mean, russian colonists so why not in, us? A, in effect although not you know in in the respect of being the oppressor uh i i understand the temptation to take a hammer or nail worldview where you're either the hammer or the nail may as well be the hammer. But it's not just a worldview, the, it's history. It's just how yeah, things have always been. Even is, before even before the colonists, the white man came in. Let's not pretend like the Aztecs weren't a warring culture that, you know, would sure. conquer but, and but expand here's the thing. You, also. You know, uh true. In in the modern world, you know, with with a few exceptions, change is going to be more gradual. Yeah, you know, they're depending on what happens in Syria now, that could flip a lot of cards, uh, both in terms of who's controlling Syria and then, you know, by proxy, you know, who's going to be the better buddy? Is it going to be us or the Russians? Uh, what's going to happen with Israel? Tune in next week on Syria. You know, it's, uh, there, there are certain military clashes uh, where things are going to flip. But for the most part, change is going to be much more gradual. And I, I think uh, that in, in terms of seeing, you know, the, who's in power uh, change and what's going on, it is going to be a slower thing. So, yeah, historically, it is all hammer and nail. But with, you know, NATO, with the G20, with the EU, there, there are attempts to bring everyone together and work as one. And, of course, because of the historical structure of, of the world and political, this is going to be a union of any equals. You know, some people are going to be the bigger dogs in, in the, the union. The thing is, eventually, it's not a stable, um, like, outcome. Like, you but, look at it game theory-wise, when you see, like... It, 
um, you know, like the little Punnett square of game theory, how, yeah, you want to get along, but that's not the stable outcome. The stable outcome is the fight on the other side of that Punnett square. Yeah, but and, and so we can try and our best to stay in that little peaceful place, but eventually things are going to get bad in yeah. terms of resources where we start competing over something, oil right. or water. Right, and then we are going to have to fight, and that's why well, we do have to have a right, strong military at the end a, of the day. Right, but if it's a you know if prepared, it's a predicted shortage, you know. it's it's something that's going to be more manageable. That you know, in in one respect, yeah, we're kicking it down the road, but in another, you know, it's uh, it we do see it as an inevitability. Let's see what we can do to mitigate it now, now before point, it happens. Your point to the as you had talked about what the Aztecs and, and the different thing. The difference is that. When Cortez showed up, he brought germs, he brought guns, and he took those people out. Because they took what? Gold. They also made you take their religion on top of that. And they wiped out. See, their thing was they were conquering these people because what did they want? They wanted minerals. They wanted these different things. And so when you, when you do that and you wiped out the Indian, and then you say, well, why are they complaining? Well, they're complaining. Am I, they're... they're Complaining because um, you know of how their of how the things were done to them. You know they they it's the way you did it. The it's way they the did. Way you, <clears throat> the thing is, Cortez and his guys, those dudes, they didn't uh, do it the way the white guys did it in North America. Like no. oh, I, I, I'm <laughs> white conquerors conquer like this. I'm, Spanish I'm conquerors conquer yeah. like this. But, they, but it is different. They make love um, and <laughs> rape. Uh, <laughs> um, mostly rape, I think. I don't know. Um, I'm is, fortunate. Should we start playing I'm, blurred lines here? Right. Is that where uh, that comes uh, in? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I'm very fortunate that, so I did the 23 and me on myself. Uh-huh. And I come to find out I'm 20% Central Native. Uh-huh. But then I also have this big old chunk that is also Spanish. And then right. I also have this big old chunk that is a miscellaneous right. other European. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I've got all these pieces in me that really drove me to think about history because, like, I'm both the villain. I have the blood of both the villain and the victim right. here. And then I even started researching what tribe did I come from? Which mm-hmm. was it? And based off of my where my family lives right. in mm-hmm. Nicaragua, I come to find out that it was it was in the mountains, and that the mountain tribes of Nicaragua were cannibals. Mm-hmm. And so there's like a strong chance that 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 twenty percent. I'm twenty percent cannibal, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so. You're, you're not a vegetarian. Yeah. It's your not, family um, history. That's, well, that's, Be proud. And then, but then, so that's, that's on one side. So, right, they're, they're not necessarily innocent group of people. And then I look at the Spaniards, and I started digging into that. I mean, why are, mm-hmm. why are Spaniards pale, right? And they were, in, look at the history of Spain. So, first they were, they were Romans, right, at mm-hmm. one point. Mm-hmm. And then they got, uh, con- Rome fell. They were conquered by the Visigoths, and they were white, right? They're Celtics. Mm-hmm. They're German. And that's why you see the Spaniards, and, and they're very light-skinned. Like, I'm very light-skinned. That's, that's mm-hmm. from the Visigoths who right. came in and mixed with the Romans, who are right, mm-hmm. Olive. Mm-hmm. And then they came in and got conquered by uh, the Arabs who took mm-hmm. over Spain. So there's this, like, churn. The more, the merrier. Well, the more. Those, 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 well, those yeah, are the, the more. Yeah. Stay, stay off the uh, moors. Yeah. That's why my hair is curly, I believe. <laughs> right. uh, you know, yeah. it's but you know what? The, the moors did not rape and pillage. They did they, And that's they true. came there, and they brought... They brought irrigation. They showed them how to. You see the, the uh, beautiful. They probably did a little oh. raping on the weekends. Well, but they didn't do. They didn't do what the what never the on Christum Sundays did. <laughs> right. The Christum went in slicing, chopping, and and the only reason why they lost because he didn't build up his his his, his artillery and he didn't, and his Germans his, his uh, generals turned on him and that's how they ran the the, the Moors out. But I was going to say that the when you when you build upon a country that tells you life, liberty, and the, the pursuit of happiness, but yet you have... That's the hypocrisy. Yeah, well, yeah. That's, that's what there drives you crazy. And that's, yeah. and, well, it's you a single slaves. You have 600 slaves here, and yet you tell the slaves, no, 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 you, you, you're, you're, you know, I can rape you. Yeah, well, but we're that's, worried about that's you the that asterisk. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. that's yeah. like, It's life, liberty, you know, happiness for right. us. And then all of a offer, sudden, offer not available There's, so, in there's so much hypocrisy, Illinois, though, and, and I think we, we, nobody's if, if, innocent, and we need to make a better country. I well, think, but if you, just, if you world, would be like but, the Brits and tell the truth and say why you did what you did. See, the Brits will tell you, oh, yeah, we did that. Yeah, we chopped up and we did this, and we went in and we did this. this, this, this. But here in America, they don't tell you that. They keep, 
they, they, you hear all these different stories. That way you'll never know what's true. And you'll only be able to do it as you did. You researched, and that's the only way you're going to find out about what's going on, how, what happened here. <laughs> you have to do your own research. And you will find out. And then that's why I was.